All right, we got a very simple culinary lesson this evening. Just a little uh, white cornmeal uh, polenta. You can use yellow cornmeal, you can use grits. But I got half water and half cream in there. Brought it to a boil. And then I'm just going to whisk this in until it starts to feel thick. I, uh, that may sound strange to some of you who are used to measuring everything, but this is one of those things that I don't even bother measuring. Just dump it in until it starts to get a thick, creamy consistency to it. And then you just let it cook for a few minutes and it's done. The, the coarser the grain on the cornmeal, or the grits, the longer it takes to cook. It's almost there. You can see it's getting, getting a little bit of a thick texture there. You can see it in there. It's definitely, definitely getting thick. Almost like a, a thick hollandaise texture. Now you can see it really thickens up from this point and uh, bubbles and churns. I'll put a lid on it, cook it for a few minutes, and then uh, basically just come back and finish it with lots of butter and, of course, Parmigiano Reggiano. I'll grate some of that in there. Season it up with some salt, maybe some pepper. I usually don't even worry about the pepper. I think the cheese and the salt is enough, and the finishing it with butter is all it takes. But you can see in there, it's really starting to get that texture peeling off of the sides there. And the finished product should be a little bit thicker than an applesauce, almost like mashed potatoes. So that's Polenta 101. Really not difficult to make. You just don't want to add too much cornmeal or it'll end up grainy. I think what I just showed you right there is is really me nailing it. So anyways, that's it. Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health. Thanks for watching. This is Polenta 101. Uh, Parmesan polenta, which you